Hello everyone, it's Mary Beth, and today I'm going to walk you through how you can get your project information outside of Materio in a way that makes a lot of sense. So this is our live link function, and what this is going to do is allow you to share links to subcontractors or outside GCs or even outside design teams about the information on your project. This is going to allow them to access the plan with the markers, the selections, attachments, things that are needed without having to log in. This is also going to allow them to access your scope of work in a really easy way without seeing financial information. So let's dive into how you create one of these links and share them with your external collaborators. So you're going to go to the project that you want to share this link for. Now I'm going to come over to the top right here and in this menu under share, you'll see a lot of information. You actually will see a few other ways that you can get your scope of work and selections outside of material. But for now, we're going to focus on the very bottom, which is a shareable link that also has the ability to have a QR code. So I'm going to click view only links. And when I do that, you'll see that at first I don't have any links. So I'm going to go ahead and click create a link. Let's say that we're trying to get our material schedules outside of our organization and into our subcontractors hands. Now this may be for the work that actually needs to be done. This may be even earlier in the process when you're just sort of trying to put your ideas in front of subcontractors to get quotes or bids. So this live link function can be used to hand off information to get quotes. It can also be used to uh, hand off final details. And we're going to create an electrical link here. Let's say this is the electrical we're actually going to do just the electrical category on this project here and then I'm going to select the pages that I want them to see so I have a lot of existing uh, condition pages in this one and maybe I just don't want to show them this is also another great reason of why you should name your plan pages so that when you are doing things like this you can see their name right here all right, so now I have my main floor, second floor finishes, so he's going to be able to see my electrical work and then also demolition because he's doing a little bit of electrical demo for me. So I'm going to save this, and now I will have this link here. You'll notice that I have a name of the link. It tells me what pages and scope I can see if it has ever been accessed, as well as the ability to edit it. So in case I need to change something or add more pages, let's say I uploaded very specific elevations where there's electrical work and I wanted to add those in, I can always come in and edit this. So now I'm going to copy this link and show you what it looks like. This is the scope of work. They're going to get this live link and you'll see that I can actually hover over the plans, click these markers, see information, scroll down. If there are items that are approved, I can see pictures. If there are items that do have attachments like this one, I can see the guidelines or installation instructions that I've attached. So this is a great way for your electrician or other subcontractors or trades to access your project without having to log in. Now, the other part that I wanna show you is the um, QR code portion. So if I open this link back up, you will notice that there is also an ability here to say print QR code. So I'm going to click that. When I do, you'll see that I have this QR code paper. I can just press command P and I can go ahead and print this out. I can put it on my job site. I can put it in binders, up on the walls, laminate it, whatever you want. But this is the ability for the trade to know exactly where their scope of work is. They can scan this to see if things have changed and they can be sure that they are up to date on their projects. Right, that is how you can share information outside of your project with subcontractors or external collaborators that do not have to log in. They can still see the floor plans. They can still see that scope of work. And that is a great way to communicate with them about things that you want to do, or maybe even final decisions about what needs to be done on the project. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at hello at material.co and we'd be happy to help.